So the 5G drive reach versus the 4G OTR, how do they stack up? Let's find out. So I'm not gonna lie, I've been having a hard time with this one. Been trying to figure out how to best convey how well these systems work. And it's difficult, um, mainly because of cell reception. Anywhere you go, even, even here in my driveway, um, it varies. And it's, it's not like you can just say, this is concrete, this is gonna boost this much, because there's just no way to tell. It, it just, there's so many factors. There's environment, there's buildings, trees, if you're in a valley, um, I was really hoping that I was going to be able to convey that, you know, this one does this percentage, this one does that percentage, and this is why you should buy this one, and this is why you shouldn't buy that one. And unfortunately, I, I can't really do that. Um, so what I'm going to show you is the actual technical cell measurements from a cell phone right here, right here in our driveway in a controlled location. Um, so basically a trucks sitting right behind me where it's at and Yeah, it is what it is. So the numbers may mean something to you. They may not mean something to you um, And then after I show you that I'll come back and I'll I'll give you my personal opinion on it and my personal thoughts and Which one I think is the value? To measure the cell service signal that your phone is receiving on an iPhone You need to punch in this number and then you press the phone call button and it takes you to this menu here. And then you wanna look on this. Now, not all iPhones are gonna have this. And I say that because my iPhone 12, uh, for some reason will not pull up this menu. It'll pull everything up except for serving cell measurement. I can't see that on my phone for some reason. My wife's iPhone 8, it's the same way. It'll come up, it'll show serving cell measurement but it won't give me any data. This is my uh, daughter's iPhone XR, and it seems to be the only phone that I have that will actually bring up this measurement. Not sure why it does that. From what I can find on the internet, it appears to be a software issue. Um, not with anything with the WeBoost or anything like that, but with actually the iPhone and Apple, it, depending on the carrier and whatever software was loaded on that phone, they give you access or they may not give you access. For this demonstration, we're going to hit Serving Cell Measurement. We're going to click on that. And we're looking for RS RPO. And this is our decibel reading for the amount of signal that we uh, are receiving on the cell phone. And this is with no booster. So as you can see here, we have a decibel reading of negative 109 decibels. The closer you are to negative 40, the better your cell phone signal is. And you can see possibly up here, if I drop this down just a little bit, we have about two bars of LTE. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the 4G OTR cell booster and we're going to refresh this screen and see what the change is. So I'm going to back out of this menu and give it just a second or so here. And then we're going to hit serving cell measurement again and RSRPO, we're now at a negative 93 decibels. So you can see it has increased the cell reception. And just to prove that the cell booster is actually doing that, I'm going to now shut it off. You can see it's still at 93 because we haven't refreshed it. We're gonna back out. And we're gonna go back into it. And RS, <clears throat> excuse me, RS, RPO, you can see we're now at negative 105. So that shows that that was actually the booster that was increasing that signal. Now, for this next test, I'm going to unplug the 4G OTR, and I'm gonna plug in the 5G reach, and then we're going to refresh this yet again. So you can see right now we're at negative 105. That's what it was with no booster. Go back out. Give it a couple seconds here. Now I'm gonna hit serving cell measurement again. And RSRPO, we're at negative 92. So you can see yet again, it's boosted the signal. 
it's not that far off from the 4G uh, OTR and that's mainly because I'm sitting in my driveway right now and we have somewhat decent cell signal here but you can see how much the antenna signal strength uh, meter on your cell phone actually lies um, it was just showing four bars of LTE at negative 92 decibels so the negative 92 is with the WeBoost 5G turned on I'm going to shut that off now we're gonna back out of the menu give it a second to refresh and then we're gonna go back in the serving cell measurement and RSRPO you can see is back to negative 112 so we are no longer boosting our signal so there you go there's the numbers um, not really impressive when you just look at it from a number standpoint because you're like wow that's really only 10 decibels of difference right I mean we at the most we went from 105 to 92 or 109 to 90, 96 or something like that I, I forget exactly what the exact numbers were um, but yeah I mean it really doesn't speak that much to you right I mean it's just a technical jargon and what really is good do you ever really see uh, 40 decibels or negative 40 decibels I guess I should say um, I can I can honestly tell you anywhere I've ever tested my cell phone I've never ever seen that now I have never stood at the base of a cell tower to see if that changed anything but I'm just being honest here I'm being truthful about it what I can tell you um, is on our trip down to Key West and back we tried both WeBoost antennas in multiple locations out in the Everglades we tried it down on Key West itself and what I can tell you without a doubt 100% the 5G um, drive reach definitely trumps the 4G OTR there is no doubt about it in my mind um, there are places where we turned on the 4G and saw no change whatsoever um, whether it be in signal meter or just in speed of the data coming in um, there just really wasn't any change but man as soon as we turned that 5G on it was like a bolt of lightning hit the truck I mean it was it was amazing I was able to pull up weather reports my wife was able to get on social media and do a quick post and upload photos my daughter was able to chat with her friends honestly it was that much of a difference I've, I've never really been that impressed before by just pressing a button on something and it actually working so I definitely have to give WeBoost props on this um, I saw a difference you know the 4G I was skeptical about when we got it I did see that it changed the signal um, and I did see some improvements every once in a while but for the most part it was kind of spotty here and there the 5G without a doubt every time I press that button I know that my signal has improved it, it's just that um, it's that obvious so that's my personal opinion on the two products um, and, and that's just really how I feel about it I, I don't think at this point in time that I would spend the money on the 4G OTR I would definitely spend the money on the 5G if you were in the market for one but do your research um, like I said this is just my opinion um, and, and what I've experienced and it may, it may be different from what other people experience in different regions like I said it, it all depends on your cell coverage this thing is not going to create cell coverage it's only going to boost what's sitting out there so if you've got crap coming in you've got crap going out just a little bit better crap so that's kind of a weird analogy but that's honestly where we're at with it so um, I hope you guys found this video informative and I know it took me a little while to get this one out to you but like I said I've been struggling with it because wasn't quite sure how to do it wasn't quite sure to show you something that actually meant something in, instead of just numbers on a screen so again I hope you guys found this informative and if you got any questions drop them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best I can we'll see you guys next time